Piles of trash, cockroaches, and rats. People on one Koreatown street say they're sick and tired of living near a hoarding health hazard. It's a story you only see here on KCAL 9. Our Chris Holmstrom found out the neighbors have been complaining about the home for years, but to no avail. Now it's covering half of the front yard. It's a complete eyesore. Edward Lim is talking about his next door neighbor. The home is literally surrounded by eight foot tall piles of debris. From above, you could see a parked car buried in garbage and scrap metal. We used to not have any uh, any problems with bugs in the past, but at least in the past two years, we've been seeing more and more bugs in the house. Uh, we've been hearing even rats just scurrying about. And take a look at these pictures. The top of the car is covered with cockroaches. There's even some inside the vehicle. It's become a health concern for this whole street. We have, we've made multiple requests to to you know have some of this removed we've asked him he's like hey you know when are you getting gonna get this uh removed and we we he said in the past it's like oh yeah no i'm gonna get rid of it but it still hasn't happened and take a look at this neighbors say that there's so much trash blocking the front door that in order for him to get inside the home he has to climb over this trash and neighbors say they've complained to the city several times but still nothing has happened it's already been more than 10 years. I have a record. I have a record. I even wrote a letter to the uh, mayor. Leticia Ruiz has lived in her home since 1981. She says after years of promises from the city and being told to be patient, nothing has been done. I'm scared that I'm, I'm already getting sick. I'm old. And the neighbors are fed up. And banding together to make sure this health hazard is cleaned up. The home's supposed to be a, safe, a place that's safe, clean. Uh, this is the, you don't you don't imagine your home to be right next to this garbage heap. And I reached out to City Councilor Mark Ridley Thomas. He represents this district. A spokesperson from his office got back to us saying that they are working with several city agencies to rectify this situation. As you can imagine, neighbors are hoping that it'll happen soon. Reporting in Koreatown, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. And we do have an update to the story late tonight. A man who says he owns that home called our newsroom. He told us he does not have the money to clean up the mess and has been in contact with the city for some help.